video, we'll be taking a look at five more amazing facts about the wonderful Springer Spaniel. Welcome back to the Fenrir Spaniel Show. My name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about Spaniels. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Spaniels. So if you're a lifelong Spaniel lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Spaniel video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll break down five more amazing, interesting facts about the magnificent Springer Spaniel. Starting with fact number five about this breed, there are two different types of Springer Spaniel. There are bench Springer Spaniels and field Springer Spaniels. While not all kennel clubs differentiate the two, there are some key differences. The field type Springer is made for working in the field. They're used in hunting, therefore they have shorter, lighter coats and their tails tend to be docked. The bench type Springer Spaniel was made for the show ring. They sport a fuller coat with more feathering. In either case, this breed is known for its thick double coat. They can be black, liver, deep reddish brown or blue coloured with white markings or even tri-coloured. That coat is amazing in the show ring and it really shows. They've won the third most Best in Show awards at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. They're only bested by the Scottish Terrier with eight wins and the Wyatt Fox Terrier with 14 wins. In at fact number four is that the spring of Spaniels are known to be extremely friendly. They're known for their even temper and patience with children of all ages. They just love their people. This breed will get along with the youngest or oldest of children. They're just happy to be around their family, whether it's a trip to the beach or playing in the backyard. They form extremely close bonds with their family and may develop a protective bark but don't make very good guard dogs. That's because they tend to easily form bonds with strangers as well. The Springer Spaniel is a very social breed and it certainly shows. They love people and they're normally more than happy to make friends with other dogs as well. They even do well with other animals such as cats. Fact number three is more about the working breed and all that they do. The Springer Spaniel is best known for being a gun dog. They even get their name from their original profession. These dogs would flush or spring game for their hunters, which means they'd force the birds to take flight by chasing them, and then the hunters could make their shot. They're even a soft mouth breed, which means they can carry things gently, making them ideal for retrieving game after it's been shot. But this breed does more than hunt. They make excellent detection and sniffer dogs for the police and military. They're intelligent and driven enough to be search and rescue dogs. And despite all that, they're still friendly enough to be therapy dogs. They certainly are one versatile canine. Fact number two is all about the celebrity life and historical importance of these dogs. George H.W. Bush had a Springer Spaniel named Millie, and his eldest son, George W. Bush, had another one called Spot. Though this is hardly this breed's first appearance with influential figures, it's thought that William Wallace, commander of the Scottish Army during the First War of Scotland independence in the 13th century, had a Spaniel named Merlin. Merlin rode into battle with Wallace and his army during the Battle of Stirling Bridge. Though it was far too early to call Merlin a Springer Spaniel, the dog certainly is an ancestry to the modern day English Springer Spaniel. And finally, Fact number one, the Springer Spaniel loves water. This dog loves to swim. They can learn to swim at as young as eight weeks of age, as long as they have good bond with their leader and are trusting of them. Learning to swim is partially an exercise in trust and can take longer for some Spaniels than others. But in general, they'll be more than happy to get in. They'll enjoy boating and trips to the beach, though a pool or lake is just as good to them. They certainly aren't picky when it comes to having a place to splash around. Their job as a gun dog required them to swim and retrieve game from the water. It's partially ingrained into the breed to love the water because they were working in and around it all the time. They even have webbed feet to help them be better at swimming. It helps them to paddle in the water more efficiently without getting tired as quickly as other breeds. Everything about them makes them great in the water and their love of it shined through. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated Spaniel videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Springer Spaniel Show.